What's up YouTube? Just finished up day one of the Modern Samurai Project pistol red dot class that he does that he's probably most famous for. Got my homie here, Mike Hogan, the one and only one of my favorite people in the world, also a great training partner. I thoroughly, thoroughly um, respect and, and love his thoughts about things. So Mike, what do you think about T-Day 1? Because you're a returning alumnus, correct? Yeah, two years ago I took this class and uh, it's almost two years to the month actually to come back and it's been an interesting journey uh, as red dots have uh, progressed i was lucky to start with scott jeletsky but my just jump off on to red dots i mean i got a gen 419 i threw a venom vortex on it and i sucked it up and suffered through class with the wrong holster and i learned a lot um it really is a fantastic class and you really walk away with less is more very much. Be easy. Efficiency is king. Um, a, a really wonderful class. And uh, it turns a lot of the things I've learned kind of on their head. Did we burn it down today? Did we turn good money into loud noise? Did we shoot a thousand rounds today? No, no. This was not a loud noise. In the last you know, year and a half with uh, ammo shortages, it is very clear that the smarter instructors are making every round count. Um, the goal is to get something out of an exercise, to get something out of a drill, to see something, to learn something. So I, I think the days of, of, of most of your gun classes looked like that, but there was always kind of a fun burn down, like, you know, cut loose. Uh, I think that's been let go because it doesn't, it doesn't give you anything. It doesn't teach you anything. You can go do that in your, your cousin's backyard if you want, but I'd rather shoot a drill with, you know, six rounds of, of working my transitions and get several good transitions in and and stay focused and then stay take a step back let, let my shooting partner do it uh, and then when I come back I'm fresh and I can really focus on what I'm doing absorb everything I'm seeing through that dot and um, really kind of grapple with this huge change in visuals from our, our traditional front sight focused world so even though it's TD1, would you recommend taking this class more than once? Oh, absolutely. Uh, again, I took it two years ago. I've shot a few uh, USPSA matches. I, I've uh, taken other red dot classes. I've brought red dot pistols to carbine classes for a little bit of offhand work. Um, but there's no, there's no beating. Just a good, solid day of fundamentals to get back to it. And all those little things you think you picked up, uh, you lost them. You lost them. It's good to get back and 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 rehone those skills and and have them re uh, uh, re impressed upon your brain, if you will. What I will say, and to add to that, is guys, take the same class twice. All right, Mike and I have been training for a long time. We've done way too many classes, I would say, probably over the last few years. Is there such a thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's gun time with friends, right? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Pretty much, know. yeah. That being said, guys, someone like Scott is going to constantly improve himself and constantly evolve the curriculum. So number one, that's why you should take the same class twice. Number two, every single class, especially these multi-day classes, whether you're taking a two-day class or a five-day class, what I have found out is that a lot of these classes are drinking from a fire hose, so to speak. So take what you can get out of them, take your notes, take your skills, work on those skills through dry fire competition, pressure test those skills and question them, retake the class, one, it provides a test for yourself to see if you are uh, incorporating those lessons properly. And number two, you can pick up, oftentimes pick up, more than what you did the first time because you know what to expect and you're working on some specific things so that gives you the ability to concentrate on those new things. So, that's what I got. Would you add to that? or You know, I would say it's, anyone who's interested in shooting has heard, oh, dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. But I really, the more I play with red dot sights, the more they continue to make me think, they just make you a better shooter. Um, anyone who's played with a red dot, we've all seen that. Oh my God, this thing is everywhere. How do you shoot with this thing? And you know, just the last two years of some dry fire um, and just looking at some of our sight in targets this, this morning, boy, that, that little crazy epileptic dot, you know, with a little time and, and a, some nice regular dry fire practice, you can bring that vibrating cone down to a really relatively stable thing. 
and it's just a little bit every day. And, and boy, did I see it today after, you know, two years of playing with these things. That's what we got, guys. That's TD1. Look out for more in a later time. We'll probably do some stuff TD2, and we'll see you then.